Hi there! My name is Kid K. Mirai, and welcome to my Let's Play of Hollow Knight. I'm really excited to begin this series because this game has very quickly become one of my very favorites of all time. I'm a little bit obsessed with it, um, as you'll see from my save file that has 91 and a half hours of gameplay on it. Um, I recently completed a Steel Soul run, I've done all the speedrun challenges, and I was looking for an excuse to replay the game, and I thought, well, why not replay it for an audience, maybe? And thus, this series is going to be born. Um, I'm going to make it as spoiler-free as I possibly can, because obviously, even though this is not a blind run, it might be a blind run for you guys. And so, for example, I won't be doing anything like saying, Oh, this guy, you're going to really love this guy when he X, when he hasn't done X. Um, however, I will probably comment on, Oh, this boss was a huge bitch when I, you know, beat them the first time. Things like that. So, I guess without further ado, let's push this and get started. Classic play, of course. I'm not doing Steel Soul Run with you guys. It would be way too harrowing. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hallow Nest, by Monomon the Teacher. So first of all, I just want to say how awesome is the art and animation and music in this game. Um, if that's one comment that I could just be making constantly, repeatedly, over and over as I play, it would that would be it. Um, this game is absolutely beautiful. The ambiance, the backgrounds, the little animations. Just, if you can, just really watch for all the details and these little movements. I mean, even as he's just they're just swinging their nail. It's ridiculously detailed there. So, you know, I couldn't be more impressed with the makers of this game, honestly. So here we are with our little creature that is our protagonist, the knight. They are my baby and my child. Just Let's just get that out of the way. Um, this is the tutorial section of the game, not really too much to say about that, except for... Look, see, even more detail. You can attack the background, and it can attack you. Kinda neat. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. This tablet explains how you heal collect soul by striking enemies, and then once you collect enough soul, then you can focus and heal. 
Hopefully you won't be seeing that for quite a while, but I can't make any promises. I suck at video games. I say I suck at video games after, like, just getting through a minute-long rant about how I've played this game so many times and I'm great at it because I can complete, uh, speedruns and still soul runs. Yeah. Humble bragging, Kid K. It's not a good look. The background can attack you, you can attack the background, and the background can also attack your enemies for you. How fun is that? I'm just picking up some blue goo for temporary health. There we go. Got injured. Almost immediately. But I had temporary health. So it doesn't matter. First time I played the game that scared the crap out of me. Oh, but here's the benefit of watching me play this. You can watch me find secrets. A uh, big tip, if you've never played this game before, I promise I won't get all pedantic about, you know, tutorial type stuff as I play this, but uh, you can pogo off stuff. I say that right now because I didn't know that for a really long time in this game, and so I didn't know that I could get this area. But now you do. You're welcome. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom could produce one such as you. What's all this higher beings business? Kind of ridiculous. But see, here's an example of really great art. Like, what's this that's in the background? Like, look at this monster. Collected a charm. Fury of the Fallen. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. But you can't do that until you get to a bench. See, like I said, I didn't know that I could get over here and get this, so I had to come all the way back to the tutorial section after playing most of the game in order to find this. But, um, we have our menu, shows our nail, our focus. I have a bunch of money, it's called Geo. And our charms menu tells us that. Fairy of the Fallen embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bearer's strength will increase. Um, while I walk back to where I was, because that dropped me down pretty far, I'll tell you real quick that, if you haven't played the game, um, charms are items that you can equip that give you special abilities. That one, for example, if you equip it, if you have only one mask of health left, your nail will be stronger. So it's all kinds of things like that, and as I play, I might um, might offer some, not really tips, because like I said, it's not like I'm a pro gamer or anything, but um, just maybe some words about what my favorite um, charm loads are. Or things like bosses, exploration sections, stuff like that. Because it's fun to watch how they interact with each other. Some of them have some pretty cool um, effects. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. So it's a message only for people who are called higher beings, but they're not high enough that they're above the law. You know what we do to doors in this game? Especially big, ornate ones? We beat the shit out of them! I just love that imagery of all that stone just bursting outward, you know, furiously. And then this little creature walks through, expressionless. Mm. 
Making my way downtown to Dirtmouth, the fading town. Who are you? Oh, it's Eddie. Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be, there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. This is Elderbug. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallow Nest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. Thanks. I'll make sure to sit on this public bench because you gave me permission to. Okay, now since we're on a bench, we can equip charms. Um, quick little thing. Um, you have a set of notches. That's your slots for charms. For example, this guy costs two, so out of two out of three. I just always equip it first because I like to wear charms. Very stylish little bug. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. But I'm gonna need you to be open now. I need stuff. I need stuff. Okay. Alright, well, here's the well full of monsters and madness, or so I have read. Definitely we should go in there, right? And here we are in Forgotten Crossroads, the first real exploring area of the game. Time to begin my exploration and my path of destruction. You don't get anything for destroying background elements, but sometimes I just feel like I wanna. One thing about this game is that um, when you kill things, hit, you know, geocaches and stuff, just the physics of the game will just spew the geo everywhere. It's kind of a problem right at the beginning of the game, especially in big rooms like this, but I'm going to show you a way that that's quickly not a problem in probably like 20 minutes, half an hour when I get there. <laughs> oh no! Hey mister, what's your problem? What's the deal? I can't get up there to talk to him. But, it's another example of, like, the awesomeness of this game. You just walk into a room and you can't talk to this guy. But you know that there's something wrong and you think, maybe I can help fix it. Alright. Don't worry, Caterpillar dude. We're gonna find a way to help you out and cheer you up. He's not a caterpillar. He's a grub. I am just gonna constantly get that wrong, I think. Not on purpose. It's just... It happens to me sometimes. Okay. Check it out. I got hurt. 
because I'm great at video games. But look, not hurt anymore. Because of that neat stuff up at the top that's called soul. You collect it by beating things up, and then when they beat you up, you can get your you can get your health right back. Pretty neat. Sorry, I'm like running around killing indiscriminately because um I need money. See, it's it's funny, like after playing Undertale, you fall into a realm full of monsters and you think, well maybe I can get away with not killing stuff. This game not so much. Singing a jaunty tune. I'm not sure what this guy is, but the thing is, I think he's a mosquito because of the nose. But the thing is, he's a dude mosquito, so he probably wouldn't bite. So he's an okay dude to me. Hmm? Ah, oh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Absolutely would. And at such affordable prices. So we got a map, which I will show you in just a sec when I'm done talking to it. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dartmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. <laughs> oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself, with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. <laughs> How are you finding my map? I've tried to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies for my wife up in Dartmouth. We've set up a little store to help make ends meet. He's just advertising himself. Anyway, here's our very first map showing his version of where we are. We've also gained a, uh, a new area in the, uh, in the menu. He actually gave us also a map of Dartmouth and King's Pass, which was the tutorial section, so that was pretty nice of him. Even though he is constantly advertising, hey, go up to my store in Dartmouth. Spend... Okay. All right. That's just fine. <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> I swear I'm better at this game than I'm acting right now. I should really just start taking my time. Jerk. I'm just filling out the map. I'm not, you know, I know where I'm going. Where I'm going is this place with acid water. Good morning, madam. I don't know if you saw, because I don't know if I so much let her do it, but th that those things uh, spew babies at you. And uh, when they die, they spew forth two final babies that will come after you. Uh, so yeah, this game is just rife with child murder. Fun. 
However, here is a small child that I think we can help. What are you doing in here, buddy? Let's let you out. Yeah, happy. So we just did a good deed for the day, I think. Just let a little, uh, let a little duder out of his glass ball. Huh. How about that? I mean, I wonder where it could have gone. I do love, though, how Cornifer just will be in an area and will alert you to his presence by humming his little song. It's always welcome to hear that because it means you're sort of on the right track at the beginning of an area. He should be one of the first things that you find. Don't worry, I am going to pick up that money. I know it looks like I just, you know, threw it everywhere, but... Wanted to knock all of it down ways before I came down. Oh no, a gauntlet! Spitting Sunny D at me. Listen. I know you got a nice big juicy butt, but you're gonna still have to die. Aw, I could have potentially dropped stalactites on him. I didn't even remember that was there. Can't get over there. Just yet. Still worth it to come this way because money, money, money. Gotta be kind of obsessed with money at the beginning of this game. Oh, you're back. Those guys are called Aspids, and um, it's the general consensus of the fandom that a, uh, a later on version of them is one of the worst enemies in the game. Those guys, not so bad. But you'll see. Minor spoiler, I guess, for the existence of a tiny minor enemy, but whatever. All the money just fell on the spikes. It's just there, spinning around. And I can't do anything about it. Thanks, Obama. Keep trying hard to actually do a good job at this game for you guys. Anyway, basically, if I was going to give a tutorial for this game, uh, the number one tip I would give would be walk everywhere you can, hit walls that aren't full of spikes, you know, with your nail, basically touch everything that seems like it's not going to hurt you. You might find little secret areas, you might find new entrances and exits, stuff like that. You can saw it in the tutorial area. You just got to do your exploration. I think I can't get up there. Oh, okay. Alright. Fine. These things are the bane of my existence tonight. We got a cool sign here, so we're gonna check out what it is. There's the matching sign right there. And we found a bench. So we can save. Yep. Always put Geo everywhere you can. Oh, and um, in case you could, 
couldn't tell from what I've done so far, the way that the knight interacts with their world is basically by hitting everything with their nail. So, you know, you can't just reach up nicely and ring this bell. You gotta smack it. Oh, hello, you're big. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hallownest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. The last stag is such a good guy. Drop down, let's talk to him some more. It was a long time ago, but I remember when these highways and crossroads pulsed with life. These are the paths I first carried passengers through when I was young. Those travelers are long gone, yet still I remain. Now it seems it's just you and I and the furtive creatures scratching and squirming all around us. Pretty sad. Eager to travel the stagways? Just hop upon that platform. Give me the signal and we'll soon be on our way. Okay, let's go travel on then. This place. We are near the surface, I believe. There is a town here. You should take the opportunity to rest. This place was once full of travelers coming and going. It seems much quieter now. <clears throat> okay, friendo. I will be back. Oh, when I get on this, I want you to just please appreciate, again, the beautiful animation on all the gears. Just watch it as it travels up. The little gears in the shaft, the gears on the bottom of the platform, just... Wow. So he said he was taking us to Dartmouth, but this looks like a different place, so where are we? Look here! It was that building that was all dark and stuff, and now it's not. I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent since even before my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lines. A web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Elderbug, you're a homebody, and that's okay. A young couple's just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they liked the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get through the door, I wouldn't put up with it myself. Alright. Thank you for always enjoying my company, Elder Bug. It's nice to come back home to you. Hey, Cal. They liked the look of that one. You think it could be because it has glasses on it, like Cornifer? Hello. You must be Isolde. Ah, <sighs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I have not much interest in retail myself. Big mood, Isolde. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Told me to buy the compass, but I'm gonna bypass it for this other thing he told me to buy, which is the quill. You'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. You've sold me, Isolde. I will buy this. That thing is exactly as it uh, says on the tin, what you use to add to the map. Ah, Mobadis. 
Of all the places to end up, we picked this dreary town. I thought it a temporary stop. Then my husband became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is sound business, but other than you, who's buying? Off home, Sanjo. Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times, my husband makes Hollow Nest sound a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly, dangerous place. It is both. I do love how Cornifer was like, I couldn't wait to move here, it's the most awesome place, and my wife is always so happy to see me, and then you get up there and she's just like, I know I'm happy to see him. I wish she would never leave. I hate this place. So, now that we have the quill, you can see, we've filled in our map with our own drawings, which are, as you can see, more detailed. Um, there are some new rooms on there that Cornifer hadn't drawn that will become a lot more apparent as we get more and more um, detailed of places and, you know, go into more labyrinthine, you know, corridors in the world here. So, for right now though, let's get back to exploring Hellenist. Back to the Forgotten Crossers. Save while we're down here. Okay. Now. I just realized I forgot a little something over here. So just. Well, it's probably best to go back down this way anyway. But, um, this time let's go down. Psych, I'm gonna show you something cool that's up here. That wasn't it. That wasn't the cool thing. Me. I'm I'm promising to be better at video games. Me immediately gets it again. Once again, the money for that guy isn't accessible. I will never get my money for bullying that particular enemy. So sad. Okay, now here's the cool thing that I wanted to show you. There's actually an exit up here. Looking at the map reminded me of it. Hot springs! It was just another bench. And, um... These things will replenish your soul. If you needed any, which I do not. just keep killing these guys because they're worth like five geo which is a lot for right now okay back to where I was after having shown you uh, the anime onsen yep still not gonna get my money for killing that guy then I'm gonna fall in a hole and kill myself Suicide by... I forget what that thing is called. A gom? I don't know. Now we'll do the downways part. Ha! I have dodged your evil sunny day. I think there's nothing I can get to over here except some cool pointy scenery. Just walk into a room and immediately hit things, but I can't get in there. 
see this is an example of how this game is a metroidvania you will be able to get there eventually even though technically you can walk into the room now you can't do anything in it because you need something else you need to do other things first um, I think I gotta go up here because it's time to deal with another one of these guys See, I told you, it spawns more babies and they try to kill you. Friggin' babies and stuff. This guy jumps. Hop, hop. Hop, hop, now dead. Walking, walking. Now, what is this? Can't get through here. Can, uh, um, excuse me, can you help? No? Alright then. Wakey, wakey. I mean, isn't that pretty much what we all want to do when we have to wake up way too early? my reaction to the alarm clock. Come on, cut it out. That thing was called the Gruz Mother. Because guess why? Uh-oh. It was also full of babies! So many babies. And the thing is, the game won't let you out of here until you've killed them. This game is, as I said, rampant with child murder. Oh well. Hmm. There's somebody giggling or doing witchcraft over here but I can't get over there to find out what's going on so wow yet another example of can't go to a place yet that building there was a place I could go in but I came over here to kill this guy first Who dis? Oh, 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 Moro, you oh, you wield your nail like a club. Ask me, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, 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 what? Who are you? I'm asking the same question. I see this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm sly. Usually, I live an uneventful life up, up in Dartmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. I mean, you could thank me now. You don't have any money? Jeez. You're exploring, then? Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger of these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking that you know how to wield it. Thanks, I sure do. Oh, what's... Thanks, I sure do have a nail. I mean... Okay, well... We did help him, and he did say he would give us a reward for it later, so... We should probably go back to Dermot pretty soon and find out what that's all about, right? Listen. Uh-oh. 
I hate big butts, and I am capable of lying. Come here. Come here, look. I'm sorry I killed your mom, but don't worry. A door with an open slot. Can't do anything about it yet. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's check it out. Oh! There was money there. You know, I, I honestly had no idea that there was money there. I was just going to do a real quick cursory, you know, glance throughout the room to show you exploration is good. And um, I was proven right. How about that? You don't even get any money for killing babies. I mean, all you get is that they go go away and leave you alone. Whoops. Okay, let's go in here. Lots of spikes. Oh! It's another one of those guys. Well, they're crying, so I have to help them. Alright, guys. Thoughts and prayers, okay? Because I have trouble doing this without another item, but I'm gonna try it just for you. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I need a little extra help for that from an item that I'm going to get. But somehow managed to do it. You know, I could feel our hearts beating as one, and I knew that you were with me at that moment. Helping me to be good at Vidya. Can't believe I managed to get that one without knocking myself out there. See, now these guys look like the other guys, but they have swords and shields. So, I mean, that sort of suggests intelligence here. But these aren't NPCs. They're... You know, they're definitely trying to attack you and kill you. Um, one thing that you could possibly notice about, um... Some enemies... Not all of them, like, not this little guy. But, um... Check out their eyes, if you get a chance. You know, especially the guys who were bigger. Sometimes, you know, there's something about them. Also, um, you know how those acid spewing guys were spitting orange stuff? Uh, have you noticed that when you kill enemies, there's also orange stuff coming out? And see, I'm, I'm hitting this wall because it moved when I hit it the first time and because um well because I know it's there but because you could hear this guy crying and I can't leave them behind however watch this watch this see they're, they're really happy to see me and then if I walk away then they get sad I'm sorry for teasing you I'll let you out yeah Not going in there just yet because of reasons. The reasons being I don't want to yet. Just gonna continue our way around. We're basically filling out the map right now. Hitting that lever opened up little doors here. Previously, if you were up top, you'd just drop down in here and be stuck. But now you're not. We're going that way though. I'm gonna um, go over here. Even though I know for a fact it's a dead end, because I want to show you, here's an example of a place that is too dark to do shit in. See, you see there's a toll, but it may as well not be there because you can't see it. Um, another little tip for playing the game. If you go in a place that's that dark, 
probably shouldn't continue on. It's too dangerous or you won't be able to do things in it. So you should just leave. There will be a way to go in there later. Just for reference, um, we're kind of close to the top of the map. I think we're in that one part to the right that um, is sort of sticking toward the left and the right at the top of that, like a seesaw looking thing now. Another singing person. Oh, hello. Oh, bury my mother, pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. This is Myla. But you didn't know. You ha, ha, do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so, what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just grab a pick and join in, huh? Unfortunately, you can't actually bust through the wall. Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest something about a crown. I I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. Okay. Myla, you are wonderful. I love you. You're so cute. Oh, by the way, um, these statues will also give you soul if you strike them. But that doesn't matter to me because, um... I had full soul just then. I keep running into things that um, will give you soul when I don't need soul, but I thought I would just point it out anyway. In here, the first time I played this game, since in the tutorial section, you know how that floor broke? I seriously thought that it was going to do the same thing, but it's not. Guess what? You need something to get further along in there. That's okay. This place is lovely. We got to meet Myla, who is a great person. And we'll be back. Yeah, you might have noticed that, like, that place is purple, whereas this place is blue. It's because it's, um, you know, you're getting into a different area of the game. Hey, is this your dinner? Hey, hey, excuse me, is this your dinner? Oh. Um, geez, sorry. I mean, I wasn't gonna take it. I was gonna ask you for some, maybe. Listen, dude, stop trying to squash me like a bug. You have a caterpillar guy, I mean, grub guy hostage. And I will not let you keep them. Your days of torment are over. He has like three of them there. Almost kind of makes you wonder if there were other guys like him and they sort of congregated here. But he just sort of mindlessly attacked me. I mean, he didn't even ask. You know, who are you? What are you doing here? Nothing like that. I could have dropped a stalactite on your head, but I didn't. Said I stabbed you with a nail. Bug to bug. I can't say man to man because, you know, the knight is non binary, but that's what I was going for when I said bug to bug. Just in case that wasn't obvious because I'm a dork. Okay, so this is that weird looking building that Cornifer drew up near the top, so now you can sort of tell where we are again. Let's head inside. 
Temple of the Black Egg, huh? This certainly looks like a big black thing with weird stuff on it. Hi. Goa, Ludo Ilamak. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. Thanks. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. For so long I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. Goa, Ludo Ilamak. To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though, that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us and most have met their grisly end, many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. So, just met this guy. He called us short. He says he loves a good mystery underground. And then he told us to loot corpses. Quirrell. Buddy. You're a bit of a freak, aren't you? Well, uh, bye, I guess. I love, though, how this is very clearly a uh, mysterious and strange and dangerous place, and everyone sort of acknowledges that, but yet we've already met several people who've just come down here for various reasons. We have Milo the Miner, he's there to get rich. Of Cornifer, who just loves mapping things, and now we just met Quirrell, who is apparently just into mysteries and adventuring for... sounds like just the joy of it. And then there's us, and who even knows what we're doing. Okay, so here I am back up at Dartmouth because <gasps> I want that compass. Bafanada. Wayward compass. Highly recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. Yes, I will definitely take that. Home, Sanjo. Okay, she just says the same thing. Uh, the rest of her wares are pretty much pins to put in your map that will... Uh, mark where places are like um stag stations benches things like that i will be buying them but um not just yet so let's get in here and put on our compass charm wayward compass whispers its location to the bear whenever a map is open allowing wanderers to pinpoint their current location pretty much what she just said now i have a slot for it because it only costs one and now you can see when we open your map you have a little night head there to show you where they are Oh, what a turn. Our shopkeepers come home. Just wandered back in. I'd hoped her grand tales of his time below, but he seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it was all too much for him? If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition. That's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Well, I mean, he said he was going to give us a reward, so we should probably talk to him. 
Echo Bus. Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chance of survival. That was chill. Your reward for saving him? For bringing him out of his, uh, mind madness or whatever you want to call it? Is that he will sell you things. Not even at a discount. And certainly nothing for free. Your reward is that he will sell you things. Yeah. I'm not buying anything just now because I'm saving up for- oh, just Jill. Saying, so I'll show you. Saving up for that, which is going to be an awesome thing that I can't wait to show you. But I do have to wait to show it to you because I don't have the money for it right now. But, you know what? I think I'm possibly going to be able to go get the money for it. Just... Oh yeah, you know what? I, I, I don't know if I'll get enough, but um, I'm going to show you something cool. I keep saying I'm going to show you something cool and then like immediately injuring myself. But uh, this time hopefully I won't injure myself at the very least. Remember who was in here? A guy who was sad and crying? What do you see? This is where our, our little <laughs> grub friends went back to. I love this guy. He is the greatest. He's one of the best parts of the game. Not just the fact that he will pay me for bringing his children back, but just because look how cute they are. You guys are... You know, I would save you even if your dad wasn't paying me to give you back. I totally would. That isn't even me being sarcastic or cynical. How great they are. So happy to see me. See, there's one, two, you can see three there, and there's a guy way, way back in the background. So, um, you know, maybe you're getting the idea, since they're in these little hidey holes, that uh, we're going to find enough to fill up all the hidey holes. If you were getting that idea, you are absolutely correct, and you deserve a prize. The prize is that I will sell you things, and not even at a discount. I'm just kidding, I don't- I'm- I'm not selling anything. But yeah, you will go around, and one of the collection goals of the game is to go around and find those little cuties. So you should always listen out for them crying. There's a lot of things that, um, continually make, dif you know, noises in this game that you should be listening out for, like Cornifer, other NPCs like Milo who might be singing, um, and the little crying, um, crab dudes. Now this is an exit we haven't been through yet, so we're gonna go and check it out. By the way, when you're, um, traveling through areas that, um, you haven't been through yet, when you're on your map it looks like you're just sort of walking through the void. But remember, it will fill in when you sit on a bench next. There is a grub there, but I can't get him. Just yet. So instead, I will simply get the money. See, I can... I can't get him. I can't get him! I shouldn't even have gone up there and teased them. So rude. Here we are, sort of linked back up to where we were up top here. Okay, so looks like pretty much the only place that I can get to currently that I haven't been yet is uh, 
as you can probably you know guess the spooky area over there that had that big uh you know scary monster demon drawing hmm it's through here but um let me actually here's the stag station so I may as well save um here you know what let's just take a little extra time and go and do this I'm just gonna go buy that charm that I was talking about wanting because one of my greatest tips for playing this game is to buy this charm as soon as you can the um the quill and the compass are invaluable and this thing pretty much completes the uh, exploration trifecta here. Was geo. Gathering Swarm. Do you find yourself leaving a lot of geo behind as you hurry through the caverns? This charm will make sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Thank you. I will be back for all of your other items. See, now here I don't have a slot for my new charm, so I'm going to unequip that. Gathering Swarm. A swarm will follow the bearer and gather up any loose geo. Useful for those who can't bear to leave anything behind, no matter how insignificant. But it is in fact very significant because of what I'm going to show you when I get back down to the crossroads. It's really, as I said, invaluable because Having this charm will help you to get so many other items. <clears throat> Just by existing on you. Watch this. See, little guys go and pick up the money. So now, I don't have to care that the physics threw it into uh, spikes or something like that. Because I don't have to go and pick it up. As long as the Geo doesn't fall in acid, like in that one room that we were in, the one room so far, um, it doesn't matter. The little swarmy guys will go and pick it up, and it will make it so that you can buy things so much quicker. And also do your exploration more quick. Now, I know what you do. As soon as I get near you, you're going to attack me. Because you're a jerk. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. No, don't do that. Come He busted a hole in the wall for me. That's why I wanted him to come over here. Also, I wanted to come over here so that I can do this. Fight an unfair fight here. You have not hit me once. Huh. Popped you like a Sunny D pimple. Uh, that club attack will do two masks of health damage, so it's really great not to get hit by that guy. Unlike that guy, it was great to get hit by him, you know? It was just- it was very important to the game experience that I get hit by that guy, you don't understand. Um, this thing is full of spikes, so as you can see, I can't go through it. Or can I? No, I can't. Now we're- Approaching the scary room. <laughs> you know, I think the reason why I'm getting hit so much is because I am doing this for an audience. I don't feel, you know, intimidated by playing for an audience, but I know that what the- that, uh, Karma and the universe are doing is trying to make me look silly. Well, I mean, here I am in the scary room, and I can't go over there even though I really want what's in that chest because it's probably money, and that's my only reason for being. Hear that background noise? That's this this background noise. It's not really music. It's just like an ominous note, really making me feel great about being in this room, right? So great that I let that guy hit me twice. But I'm right in the middle of this place, and our I wonder what Cornifer was uh, was on about when he, you know, marked this with a scary drawing. 
I mean, it seems like you can just walk right through here. Whoops, the daisies. No, you can't. Here is our very first real boss, the false knight. He does shockwaves, very similarly to those smaller guys. We've staggered him. And yes, that is what he looks like inside the armor. And he will just sit here and take it while you pound him in the face with your big ol' nail. Throwing a tantrum, throwing some rocks. Honestly, don't worry about it. I need to get out of this corner. No, I don't. I've staggered him again. Blur. Watch him kick his feeties as I destroy him. You can even knock his rocks right back into him. Brendo, listen, listen, I, I know we just met, but you really need to stop hitting me with that. He just, like, Super Mario Brothers 3 Bowsered his way through the floor. Here he is. And he's not really doing anything, but I still can't get out of the room, so, uh, buddy... You gotta die. Somehow I know because of video game rules that once you're gone, that door will open. He was just a sad little guy inside that armor. Wow. Well, let's take his stuff because, I mean, Quirrell told us to. Always loot the corpses, he said. Got a city crest. That wasn't money, but, you know, it's okay. Turns out his mace was just another little bug, dude. Oh, it makes cute noises. Did... Did the false knight make you hit me? Because, I mean, you kind of hurt me when you hit me in the head, and... I mean, alright. Bye then, I guess. Here's the money. A piñata of money. Can't get up any further up there, so let's go this way. This lever. Maybe there's an area up there, but let's go this way first, just to check it out. Oh hey, it, this is where Cornifer was, but he's not there anymore. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dartmouth to purchase a map of this area? Available now for an excellent price. Cornifer. Because he is always advertising. Um, by the way, if you miss out on buying his map, I mean that one you really shouldn't have missed out on because you definitely had enough money to do it. But you can always come back to him, usually until you've completed something in the given area, such as beating a boss or something. But if you do miss him and you find a cassette tape anyway, just go back up to Dartmouth and um, you can buy a map from Miss Elda. I'm just destroying these skulls because that guy looked like me and I have a problem with that. Why are you hanging skulls that look like me on top of your whatever this is? Why is this place so creepy? Is this floor made of bones? I mean, that's weird. Okay, so, um, this place is weird, so I think I'm gonna call it done for this video. Uh, let's just sit on this bench that is definitely made of bones. Uh, check out our our map. Looks like we're in a place called Ancestral Mound. And I know that it takes a little bit of doing to get through this place. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end it for this, for this video. And next time we'll start off right here and talk to that jiggling shadow man with the weird hat and skulls around his neck. He looks friendly. Alright, so... Again, my name is Kid Kami Rai. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, you could maybe give me a like. Uh,
tell me what you liked and what you didn't like in the comments. You know, any suggestions are welcome. And uh, other than that, I hope you look forward to the next video. Have a good day, everybody.